Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage. Day three, RSA Conference 2024. We're here in Bosconi West in San Francisco. Really excited, we have a special guest, Carla Redondo, who is the Secretary General of INSEBE. And we're going to learn all about that. Thank you, Carla, so much for coming on theCUBE. It's great to see you. Thank you for having me here. It's a real pleasure to share this time with you. Yeah, the pleasure is ours. INSEBE, tell us about INSEBE. Well, INSEBE is the National Institute of Cybersecurity of Spain, and we are dedicated fully as a public institution to develop a more secure digital environment. We are focused on citizens and industry, because cybersecurity in Spain is divided between public sector, which is uh, in order of other institution and the Ministry of Defense. So we are for the public and the industry. And in, Incibe in is a, 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 an oversight agency, regulation, is it more an accelerator? What, what is, what's the real role of Incibe day to day? What we're doing in CIVE is to develop mm -hmm. under the Ministry of Digital Transformation and Public Service, mm -hmm. to develop the public policies to create a more cyber secure digital environment. What we do is uh, we are the assessor for the, for the industry and the citizens. We, uh, we are really looking to raise awareness and the talent uh, during the citizens. We also develop acceleration and incubation programs to boost entrepreneurship. We also are looking to grow the innovation and digitalization, so we are working so closely with the academy, the universities, and the research centers to create more chairs and uh, di different workshops on cybersecurity. So the public policy is both things like what privacy as well as things that organizations should be doing to be safer, is that correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. that's okay. what we do. So both, okay. Mm. Um, Tell me about this NATO project mm -hmm. that you have, because a lot of the conversation here, Carla, has been not only about digital security, but also about securing critical infrastructure, which sometimes involves physical mm -hmm. security. Mm -hmm. And yeah. NATO, I see NATO and Project Diana, I think you have land, air, space, yeah, right. and the cybersecurity is the fifth domain, yes, you know, right, right. <laughs> cyberspace. So, see, <laughs> right, so, so tell us more about that project. For INSEBE, Collaboration is key. You need to collaborate with all the society, and, and by this I mean all the ecosystems, the company, the academy, and other public institutions and international associations, because uh, cybersecurity knows no borders. Mm. So you can work an, in an isolated mode. You need to work all together, and that's what we do. And uh, we, uh, we applied ourselves, we did the application to become uh, Diana's uh, NATO, uh, Diana NATO's program, uh, to become an accelerator, and we were selected, so we are now the accelerator of uh, Spain. And what we do there with the program is to look at the synergies between the cybersecurity and cyber defense industry to uh, boost innovation and develop uh, new services and solutions in cybersecurity that can have this both use in defense and in the industry. What's your relationship with the broader EU uh, policy makers and how mm -hmm. do you how do you collaborate with them? We work really, really closely with the European Union. Uh, a couple of years ago, the European Union created this cybersecurity space at the European level, and it's built around the Cybersecurity European Center, which is based in Bucharest. And each state member has a cybersecurity center, and in CIBE also is the cybersecurity center of Spain. So we are working all the 27 state members members really closely to create this and raise awareness and innovation and entrepreneurship in cybersecurity. So we gather, actually the director of the Center in Bucharest has been here at the RSA and we are working with the colleagues all together, you know, to, 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 to improve cybersecurity, uh, cybersecurity standards and requirements. How are organizations funding the Maybe they're not, are they mandates? Maybe they're suggestions? Uh, but how are organizations able to fund you know, better cybersecurity? It's hard sometimes. You talk to people here, they spend more, but mm -hmm. they're, they're maybe no more safe because the adversaries are so capable. How yeah. are organizations finding the funding climate in Spain? The funding climate, well, yeah, as you said, 
the cyber attackers. They are going more sophisticated and more fast, and more and faster than us sometimes. You know, so we need to be really responsive and uh, really quick. You know, to uh, to adapt every time to these new threats that we face every every day. And the funding about it, we're talking about the investment. You know, at the European Union level, we have a really good opportunity right now because of the pandemic. They uh, created the Next Generation Fund, uh, and inside this generation find there is component 15 which is uh, focused on cyber security so for example in Incibe we got uh, 564 million to invest in cyber security to uh, raise capabilities in cyber security and this is the all the public policies we are developing now the innovation entrepreneurship talent because the talent is a challenge for everyone in cyber security and uh, also a uh, new products and services we did the biggest public uh, procurement of innovation in the European Union and we did it from INSEBE. So we are working closely with the industry to develop these new solutions. We are working with the Academy to develop these new uh, church and investigation and research in cybersecurity. We are working with the with the with uh, the industry to develop more careers and STEAM uh, STEAM careers in, in also in cybersecurity. And we are also working with the citizens because we are focusing also in the citizens. You mentioned talent. Yeah. And uh, I'm curious as to how young people think about cybersecurity, what NCBA is doing to, to get young people into the industry, because there mm -hmm. aren't, aren't enough skilled people. You know, any CISO will tell you there's a skills yeah. gap, lack of talent. Yeah. So how are you helping foster talent? Just the data for you to know, the European Commission uh, has a report that says that 58% of the company have difficulties on hiring and finding people. And uh, not it's only a challenge to attract talent to, to cybersecurity, but to retain them because there is a huge competitivity between the companies. It doesn't matter if you're a public one or a private one, we're stealing talent and professional from each other. So what can we do? First of all, raise the number of professionals that we have dedicated to cybersecurity. We are doing a lot of courses of uh, 250 hours, you know, uh, and uh, two uh, create more professionals. You need to raise the number of professionals. Then you need to uh, sprinkle, you know, the, the um, like the aim, the motivation to study an STEAM career and cybersecurity. So you, we are going to the universities, we are going to the institute, you know, like the small, like the like the uh, lowest level of education when they are. I don't know, six, seven years, you know, to play with them and to, to teach them about cybersecurity and to attract them to this sector by gamification, you know, it's, yeah. it's a game, but you're raising awareness and attracting talent. And also we are working with the, with the universities to create a specific bachelor's degree in cybersecurity. Not, uh, not informatic engineering or industrial engineering, no, cybersecurity engineer. So they're coming to us. Yeah, and well. we have a huge program of internship in Incibe. I love also. it, you get them in the cradle. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> Since very <laughs> early ages too. <laughs> um, I asked you about the EU alignment. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything with the US government? With the US government, no jet. But but we're, you would like to? Yeah, yeah, US is the first market of cyber security of the world. So, uh, of course, uh, we are also a very uh, high leader in cybersecurity of Spain. Actually, we are the second, uh, the second country in the number of certs just behind the US. We have actually 89 certs. So we have a very ma mature uh, cybersecurity industry. And of course, we're looking all, always to the US. That's why, here, that's why we are here at the RSA. And uh, we, are, we talk actually with a lot of states. We are talking with Kansas, uh, Maryland, ah. uh, Texas. Yeah, we've been Bottoms talking up. with them. Yeah, so the next level is <laughs> if you could, Washington. Yeah, if you could uh, structure a collaboration with uh, with the U.S. government, what would what would be your ideal framework? What would that look like? Well, in cybersecurity, what you need to do is to share information and knowledge because we all share the same talent, the same challenges. We all face the same the same attacks. What we need to do is to share information, knowledge, and experiences. Right. That's okay. what I took. So that should be took. easy to make happen. But should of course, be, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's never easy. 
How are you finding the show? What, uh, what have you seen? How have you spent your time here? For INCIBE, it's the eighth year coming to the RSA. For me, it's my first. Okay. Uh, the first year in CIBE was here. Uh, we came with four companies only. Nowadays, we have uh, the second biggest pavilion of the RSA. We are, uh, yeah. We're, really? We're, yeah. Where is it? Where, where in the it? south, so, south okay. uh, pavilion. Yeah, you're invited yeah, to come okay. later to Thank visit you. us. Yeah. So it's the second, the second I'll biggest one. Come tapas. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, sure. We have tortilla and yeah, everything for on. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have uh, a delegation of 26 companies nowadays. So really? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. kind of companies? I mean, give us a sense of what what it's what are they? Cybersecurity, like a specific product. They they are. We have some of them with the detective alert, the cryptography, the identity, because you know. No, the European regulation is focusing a lot in uh, the AIDAS. The AIDAS Act is focusing in the identity and the digital sovereignty. So we have a lot of companies focusing on this new uh, criteria that the uh, European legislation is asking. So cryptography, quantum, uh, quantum, uh, quantum technologies, yeah. uh, IA, everything. It's really interesting. You know, Silicon Valley, of course, is famous, mm. right? It's the hotbed of, 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 of innovation in the United States yeah. and even the world. Where is the locus of innovation in Spain? Is it Madrid? Is it, is it dispersed all over the country? Well, of course, Madrid and Barcelona mm -hmm. are the most settled hub that we have in, in Spain. But don't forget that there are other halves that are racing. For example, we need to talk about Malaga. Malaga is in the south of Spain yep. and uh, is doing a great work to create an ecosystem, a strong ecosystem of cybersecurity. Actually, uh, Google's, Google has chosen uh, Malaga to be the base of their uh, excellence, uh, security excellence center, the GSEC center. So in the whole Europe, they came to Spain to be based. And uh, we were talking yesterday with Google and it's just growing, you know. So uh, there is an important international bet for Spain. And the hubs and the industry is growing. We are growing, the cybersecurity industry is growing around 10% per year. So, and this is going to go up and higher and higher. Thank you so much for sharing Thank your you. story with us. And Sibe, will you be at uh, Black Hat as well? Yeah, yeah. we hope we'll be there. You, Las Vegas, well, right? I, I, maybe you'll be there, maybe we were talking off camera. And, uh, and, and of course you're growing your presence at RSA. Mm -hmm. Will you come back? Sure, Yeah. sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, it'll be I great to it. have you. Thank you so Thank much, you. Carla, I appreciate Thank your you. time. Thank you, your time. All right, keep it right there, we'll be right back with our next guest. Right for this short break, you're watching theCUBE from RSAC 2024.